just another day in paradise. Okay. <laughs> Hello, Speaking YouTube. Speaking of children. <laughs> Speaking of children. Um, and we might have to talk up because the camera's going oh, okay. away, so okay. don't be afraid. YouTube! YouTube! <laughs> hey, hey, hey! <laughs> you asked, and we listened. Financial tips in 2018. This is the second official installment of a YouTube video, a YouTube vlog, dedicated to financial ideas, tips, and tricks, especially if you're a young family out there trying to raise children. And um, so I'm gonna pass it off to True Love. She's gonna give a little insight into how you can save money starting off with little babies. If you didn't know, we are- Eight weeks, when you see this, eight weeks away. Eight weeks away from baby number three. So our, our youngest will be four years old when this little pumpkin arrives. And what we did was we gave everything away, every single thing besides the baptismal gown away because we were just storing it and we thought it could bless other people and because we knew this secret that I'm about to tell you, the baby train. I'm going to dub this the baby train. Babies are born every single hour of every single day across the world. Is that right, babe? Yes. Claiming it. They are. And... They grow so fast, as you know, most of you know, and uh, you know they, 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 you don't need much stuff at all with infants and children at all. The simpler, the better, the more minimalist you can keep it the best. But do not feel like when you receive the happy news that you're expecting a baby that you need to run out and spend hundreds or thousands of dollars on gear and clothes and equipment. You do not. In fact, I would like to challenge you to spend zero dollars. I think if you just put the word out there, let your family and friends and people in your community know that you're expecting and that you gave away all your stuff or you don't have anything. You are gonna be inundated with good friends dropping boxes and boxes of stuff off out at your house. So much stuff that you, it'll be too much. You, you won't even um, be able to use it all. So this is just literally a small example of some of, some of our amazingly generous friends who in their own way of not being attached are just passing on their old clothes and gear and equipment. And I mean, just how precious is this? I just swoon and die when I think of this. But um, certain things, like for instance, these bottles, they were never used. They just came, the family that passed them on never needed them. And and then some of this stuff is like, the, these bibs I'm so excited about. These are for like the drool things and they're lined with fleece on the back. And then some of this stuff over there, we have burp cloths that are handmade that are just beautiful. Not to mention just like incredible things that you will use. And like our little baby boy will use these. And I remember we had a pair with Joseph and Sethi. And when we were done with them, they were still good because they're babies. They're not actually like walking very far. Then I bet you 20 kids could wear these or 40 before they would start to fall apart or wear down. So when we're done with them, we're just going to pass them on. Toys, diaper bags. This little thing is a bouncer jumpy uh, swing that you can hook up between your doorpost. Boppies, boppies, and more boppies. Boppy covers, boppies that buckle in the back. The clothes are incredible. You absolutely do not need to buy any clothes. Maybe there's a specific thing, item you need that didn't come back to you. I would recommend going to a used store. The one near us is called Once Upon a Child. And there are, or garage sales if it's in the spring or summertime. There are, there's so much baby gear and you absolutely do not need to buy it brand new. It's out there, people use it for a moment, and then they pass it on. Just spread the word, and you will be overwhelmed. I mean, already the nursery, all the drawers of the dressers are packed with clothes, and there's this, and this, and this. There's a box down here, and a bag over there that we haven't even put into the nursery yet. The point is, friends, babies are gifts. They are joys. Children are the most amazing thing. They grow fast, and they grow in stages. There's so much of this stuff out there that people just, actually the friend who gave me most of this stuff that you can see, she was like, thank you. Thank you for taking all this stuff out of my life so I can think again. Um, so it's a blessing. And then when you're done with it, you pass it forward. So bottom line is, I challenge you to spend zero dollars if you can, or I guess if you needed a car seat or something like that, but even that, 
they're out there. So put the word out. Best of luck. And if you're expecting, congratulations. <laughs> We're good, folks. We're good. I just put it all in the uh, baby crib. Oh man, I, I, we didn't even show you the yeah. drawers. I'm not even gonna show them. No, I know, I haven't even. Our like, drawers are packed. Mom, thank you. Mom, thank you. Put the word out. That's the tip of the day. Put the word out. Let people know that you're having a baby. They will provide. I'm telling you, people have baby stuff. And once the baby gets big enough, heading out on the road for 10 days starting next week and so I'm in a little bit of uh, not panic mode but just frantic mode trying to get things done before I leave so I gotta close out the vlog now I've got an interview at 7 o'clock tonight it's just a crazy time so I'm gonna stop so I can edit so I can upload so I can start filming again tomorrow bottom line thanks for being here thanks for stopping by thanks for watching a little financial tip video from true love and yes, I'll be back tomorrow, I think possibly with a running video. So, isn't YouTube great? YouTube is just great. Sick beauty, work hard. <laughs>